on this week's show, the unusual sight of a hot air balloon taking off from the Place du Palais. We find out more about Earth Hour and the culinary competition of the Grand Cordon d'Or. First, a quick word about the Bal de la Rose. This year's theme was New York with 900 guests enjoying a chic, jazzy and hip-hop evening. Everything was evocative of the Big Apple, from the decor to the food. Above all, the Bal de la Rose is a charity event whose proceeds go to the Princess Grace Foundation. The association runs humanitarian and cultural projects aimed at helping children. These vagabond shoes are longing for stray. It was a rather unusual sight, a hot air balloon taking off from the Place du Palais. But it was for a good cause. It was part of the Next Generation project that is run by the Monegasque balloonists. Their aim was to prove that it is possible to fly whilst saving energy by 70%. This is a major step in the fight against energy waste. Inside the balloon, you can see the double partition. All the warm side which holds the hot air is doubled up. This is what makes this balloon original and makes it ecologically friendly. All the top of the balloon, where temperatures are around 100 degrees, is protected, so we keep all that heat. It is isolated from the outside world. This test was conclusive, and in April, if weather conditions allow, the ecological hot air balloon designed by the Monaco balloonists will take off from Monaco on a 6 to 10 hour trip. There was an incredible amount of support for Earth Hour this year. Throughout the world, iconic buildings and monuments turned out their lights for an hour. This campaign is organised to increase awareness about climate change and to help protect the environment. Monaco took part, including Marcel Ravin, the chef from the Blue Bay restaurant, who marked the occasion by preparing a menu without using any electricity. C'est une prise de conscience de se dire que you become conscious of it and take on the challenge of trying to do something for the environment. It makes you give your most and express yourself. I like nature and I like people and I love life, so I cook like I live. That's what I always say. Cooking on a wood fire, on coals, Marcel Ravin called upon childhood memories from Martinique to prepare his menu seasonal products and seafood. We're staying with the gastronomic theme with the Grand Cordon d'Or culinary competition. It takes place every year in the Principality and brings together the best young chefs from catering schools. This year the seven finalists came from Geneva, Mexico, Nice, Bastia and Monaco. They had four hours to prepare two dishes, one savoury and one sweet. The winner was Laurie Gilles from Nice. When you know how much hard work we put in for over two months, when you are rewarded with the prize, it can only feel good. The other candidates worked hard too. Culinary success runs in the family for Laurie, as her cousin won the Grand Cordon d'Or competition four years ago. We end with the Serenissime de l'Humour. Once again, there was a lot of laughter during this major event. Mathieu Madignan, Le Comte de Bouderbala, François-Xavier de Maison and Franck Dubosc were all on the bill at the Grimaldi Forum. Franck Dubosc was presenting a new show called 50-50, in which he talks about turning 50. C'est une gourmandise. It's the enjoyment, the little extra thing you can't go without. I hesitated originally because I've got kids, they're five and eight. You can't bring them on the road. They ask me, why do you do that, Daddy? Why are you going? You love your job more than us. So it's hard. But once you're on stage, when the people are laughing and clapping, you don't forget your children, but you forget about the rest. Being on stage every night is great. 
Successful both on stage and on screen, Franck Dubosc is currently starring in Tout le monde debout as an actor and producer. The film has already sold over one million tickets. Time to go. See you next week.